school motto, Fearless Engineering, and took on a project that would apply, uh, require us to apply knowledge we learned in all our previous engineering courses. In this project, we used power electronics, analog circuits, RF, computer architecture, programming, digital circuits, signals and systems, and communication systems. Although we did not meet all our project goals, we feel that we have successfully um, demonstrated the concept. With more time, we would improve the scanning range and scanning ability of the RFID reader, implement the NFC reader, and perform additional RF testing on um, the restrictive but showy nature of the shopping cart. Um, thank you for your time. We invite you to come out to our table and view our live demonstration after the presentation. And we'd like to open the floor for questions and comments. We'll take a quick look. You guys seem to be good on marketing skills, selling your product, I like that. Uh, and related to that, a suggestion that that letter in the middle of your project name, it's a Z in Cyrillic alphabet. And I know not many people read Cyrillic in this country, but those that do will be drawn to that and they won't read it as quick card, they'll read it as quijart or something like that. So <laughs> I've, I've studied some Cyrillic, and I know that it's J, but also I noticed that it's two Ks back yes. to back. So that's why we, we went for more of a design approach. I understand. Yes. yes. Just a suggestion. Make it, you know, something different. I don't know. Thank you, you think about it. How does the uh, story get the money? Okay. So, bad enough thing. <laughs> and the way the system works, you have a, a wireless payment uh, reader for an NFC or wireless uh, credit card protocol built into the shopping cart computer. Um, so upon checkout, the user can provide a pay wireless payment method and the store will then send that data over the wireless network and then kick off the transaction that way. So you have a card swipes in the card? Well, it's, it's not a swipe, it is, it's wireless. So you just put it in front of the antenna. Some, some oh, credit yeah. cards no. today are wirelessly enabled. And something that I'm not very comfortable with myself. So uh -huh. we actually, we built in another feature where if you are uh, uncomfortable with that, thank yes, you, would have, you, you would have your identity compromised. You could go then through um, uh, checkout lane, and you wouldn't have to unload your card you would simply transfer, have your quick card transfer the information to the checkout lane. It says, these are the items that I have inventoried in this card. Check those out. There's no need to use the barcodes. Everything's already been detected. Yeah, I'm just thinking that, uh, you know, there's a, a taser that's going to hit the customer. <laughs> Actually, we built that into the handle. Huh? <laughs> so, gentlemen, one of the main questions that came from Senior Design 1 uh, from the advisory board member was that you were kind of describing, you know, this metal cart and you were trying to use this to kind of shield uh, any crosstalk or any other, uh, you know, uh, interference that may come from other carts. Uh, did you try to overcome or address that particular issue? So uh, we had some issues with our RFID radio where we, really, we weren't getting the range that was required for scanning the entire cart. So we decided to bypass that, that uh, experiment and test the shielding because we simply we didn't have the range that we required. So we don't have that information. Yeah. So you swipe a product across the box before you put it in the car? In essence, right now. Right now it works. So you change, the, you change your solution based on that type of feedback? We don't want to change the idea. We still want the radio to be able to fully detect all of the car. However, due to technical problems, we weren't able to get the full range that yeah, we needed. I guess what I'm trying to ask was, did you make a change? Did you make that change based on industry feedback, or did you make that change based on your own solutions that you, or your own testing? That was fully based on our own testing. Okay. So if you take our line on and you put it in the car, if you change your line, you just put it back, right? Correct. Okay, so an only way to see itemized is going through the checkout option, like you're describing? No, there's, there's a graph on display in that lets you use the items within the car. That's part of the, the system. And do you think this will prevent 
perhaps shoplifting? Ideally, it would, um, because RFID is so robust, you can have a unique tag for every single item in the, in the store. So um, unless someone has some very intelligent cover method to carry an aluminum foil lined bag, uh, it, you would be able to inventory all the items in your store. So um, yes, I just want to ask what, so is that slightly different? Like, I think you, you're saying you can just take something out of the car, put it back, but you have to scan it back across the box. So how does the box know it's being taken out of the car? Well, correct. rather than it's just the second item of the same being added into the car. That's right. This is a frequent behavior of customers. Can you say that again? So you've bought something, you've picked it up off the shelf, you've scanned it, you've put it in the car, right? Now you want to return it to the shelf. You've changed your mind. You don't want it anymore. Okay, so for our current prototype, the one we'll show you today, you will have to scan it. Or actually, it, it refreshes after a certain time period. So it, it's not in the range of the reader. It won't detect it any longer. So if it's at the front of the car, then yeah. it drops off the list. Exactly. But if the system worked as originally designed, it would be able to detect it because it would refresh uh, the reader and then rescan all the items and keep its list updated. Did uh, it refresh the content of the card? Correct. Right. Yeah. Josh, how do you handle produce, things like vegetables, fruits, okay, you know, which so had to be weighed? We thought about that very early on in the project, and the idea is if you go to a current supermarket and you go to the deli section, if you ever got to eat, you know they have a machine that will weigh it, put it in a bag, and then print out a barcode. The well, idea is to um, take the same idea, uh, but have uh, small RFID tags on a sticker that would uh, be programmable via machine, and you just slap that on the item, it's going to be detected within the car as if it were any other RFID equipped item. Okay. Thank you very much.